You know, their houses are in a flood zone, and now the city of Dearborn Heights is using federal dollars to buy up 15 houses owned by people who oftentimes could not leave their homes because of the water around them. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Dearborn Heights, and Kim, this has got to be bittersweet for these families. It, it really is, Glenda and Carolyn. They're leaving so many memories, but also getting rid of a headache. Take a look behind me here. The city will be negotiating to buy 15 houses on that side of Hanover near Power Street because they're in the flood zone. And the first homeowners to sell their house to the city live right there in that two-story for many years. We've been in this house since November of 89, 27 years. But now Brian and Deb Lauer have said goodbye to their Dearborn Heights home. Sad to let go, but not sorry to get away from the constant flooding. Every time it rains, it floods. You can't live like that forever. The city of Dearborn Heights has finalized the purchase of the Lauer's home on Hanover with funds provided by FEMA's Hazard Mitigation Grant, a $2.8 million grant to buy up 15 houses on Hanover, houses city officials say should never have been built in the Ecorse Creek flood zone. They got a grant from FEMA to buy everybody out because we found out that you're not, it's not really considered a creek behind our house. It's considered a drain and you're not supposed to build houses so close to that drain. And in 2014, they say they saw the worst of the flooding. Short of death, it was the hardest thing that's ever happened to us. Heidi Brown and her family have also agreed to sell their home to the city for market value. And within 90 days of closing, the homes will be demolished. 17 years, it's, um, it's very emotional uh, to know you're leaving, packing up things, and the place is going to be gone, can't come back. Kids can't come back and see where they grew up, things like that. So it's a mix, mix of emotions. We're thankful that, you know, the city's buying us out. Um, FEMA's actually declared most of the area unable to sell to anyone else. They gave us appraisal. Uh, they gave us market value for the house. They're not forcing anybody out. Um, they gave everybody the choice. We chose to leave. It's very, very hard. The kids especially are having a hard time because they're going to de demolish the home. So they can't even drive by and say, oh, that's where we were raised. And the city says they will be building up a green space here in this area after the houses are demolished. And if the homeowners do not like the appraisal amount, we're told they can also hire another appraiser to do a counter appraisal. And city officials hope they'll be able to buy and demolish all 15 homes within two years. It, reporting live, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Kim.